Hey, what's up everybody? Elric Ferris, Editor-in-Chief here once again on the Motherboards.org YouTube channel. Well, most people out there are very familiar with the AMD HD 6950 2GB card. This is the card that you were able to actually flash the BIOS and turn into a 6970 card. Now the card has been re-released under new nomenclature as the new HD 6950 1GB card. What the real difference in these cards? Not much at all. The only difference is you're sacrificing one gigabyte of memory. Instead of getting two gigabytes, you have one gigabyte of memory. So let's jump right in, check out the features, how fast this card at the end of the day, whether it's worth your money as the end user. So now as we jump right in and take a look at the card itself, you can see that it has an aftermarket heat shield and fan on it. This is a little bit different than the standard design. We're gonna go ahead and take a measurement of the card. The card comes in at 10 inches, and for those of you who don't live in America, that's 25.4 centimeters. Now, the card also features 1,408 stream processors, has an 800 megahertz core clock, and features 5.0 gigabits of total effective memory bandwidth. Quite a fast card. Some of the great features about the card, though, are that it has VaporX cooling. The VaporX cooling on the card is a superior thing. It actually helps keep the card running very cool, including in overclocked conditions. So you see you have your standard PCI 2.0 connection here. This is where the card sticks into your motherboard. I'm gonna flip the card around right here, show you the back right here. You see there are two crossfire fingers here, allowing so that you can have quad crossfire connections. And then we have two 75 watt power connectors here. Usually in the box, there'll be a Molex to the six pin power for both these if your power supply doesn't have it. Total combined power of the card is about 225 watts total TDP. That's actually how much heat your card has to cool. The electricity matters. Then I'm gonna try to get the card up in close, just so you guys can take a little bit better of the VaporX cooling. Through here, you can see there's a nice giant heat plate over this. The heat plate absorbs some of the heat and these excellent copper heat pipes right here. These heat pipes take all the heat away from the GPU and dissipate it away for it, keeping the card running very cool. So I'll just let you guys see front of the card real quick, back of the card. So taking a look at the rear row, we can see that the card has too many display ports, a standard HDMI port, and two DVI ports. Now, you get up to three monitors of support in Ifinity, no problem at all. If you need to use more than that, you're either gonna have to get a flex card or a six monitor support card. But this card out of the box features three monitor in Ifinity mode, no problem, and should be able to play it quite decently. So now that we've seen the features of the card, let's move on and see how this card performs against the competition and whether it's worth your money. This card is running pretty much neck and neck with the GTX 560 card from the people over at NVIDIA. Now, the card features lots of great features. You get all your iFinity support, DirectX 11, all kinds of great stuff with the card. The card runs actually pretty cool. It's not running really hot and the card actually does run pretty quiet as well. Now, this card's coming to market at about $229, and if you'd like to support us on the site, you can actually click on the link below, and you can actually buy this card through Newegg right now. In fact, both cards, the GTX 560 and the Sapphire HD 
uh, 6951 gigabyte card are both on sale at Newegg and both have a rebate. So what's the bottom line? If you are a fan of the AMD cards, you only want to spend about $200, you're looking for a card that runs pretty cool and pretty fast, the new Radeon 1GB HD 6950 may just be the card you're looking for.